Hello. Gonna pull from the um, Astrological Oracle. Find out which sign I'm reading for today. Or at this moment. It's a timeless reading. Oh, there we go. This isn't the sun. <clears throat> it's not an astrological sign. Let's move on. So it's a great card in every tarot deck I've ever pulled. It's the best card. So this one, I'm going to have a reading connected to the sun as well. As it being the astrological. Which astrological sign do I need to read for now? got the sun and the moon. Somebody's going to have a quite a lucky uh, reading here, I imagine. Which astrological sign has the sun and the moon and needs to be read right now? Mm. Also, Mercurius. We have a Mercury Mercurius. I'm pulling all the planets, whoever this is, whatever sign this is. Let's go for an astrological sign to be read. Which one do we need to read? Oh, it's Leo. Leo gets to read. The sun, the moon, and Mercurius, Leo. Let's find out more about. Um, you've got Luna and Soul. Find the union between your outer self and inner self. Give attention to both the seen and the unseen. You have Luna and Mercurius. Your dreams are filled with important messages now give as much attention to your sleep sleeping life as your waking life and you have Mer mercurius and soul the sense of urgency you feel is your soul's calling listen and swiftly follow where it leads you you also have mercurius and luna your dreams are filled with important messages now. Give as much attention to your sleep life as your waking life. So, that was a double double request to pay attention to your dreams there. So, soul and um, Mercurius you also have. The sense of urgency you feel in your soul's calling. Listen and swiftly follow where it leads you. I think I just read that one, so let's get to... The soul at the heart of the zodiac the sun soul is a source of warmth strength and growth as the most constant celestial body <clears throat> in astrological terms the sun represents that which is most constant in ourselves the power of personality the strongest single influence on the astrological chart the so the light of soul reveals the essence our essential self Beyond the everyday exp uh, expression of the individual, soul also brings understanding of the soul's cosmic purpose, who you are at your core and who you are meant to be are strongly influenced by where the sun falls in the chart. In this oracle, pay special attention to the soul's position uh, accompanying cards as they can bring enlightened understanding of the path that leads to your greatest happiness. And the Luna <coughs> moon, as the golden light of the sun, reveals the outer expression of the pers of personality. The silvery li light of the loon, Luna, the moon, brings it, its subtle influence to the inner life. This is the realm of emotion, intuition, and instincts. 
The unconscious mind is ruled by the moon like the ocean's tides pulled toward the dreaming, the dreamy light in constant and changeable motion. The moon enhances all psychic abilities and does not depend on logic or reasonable explanations. This is the province of the mysteri uh, mysterious and the unseen. The Luna appears in your oracle reading. When it appears in your oracle reading, it is a message to listen to your inner voice for guidance. Mercurius. Mercurius Mercury is the messenger of the gods who winged feet speed news and information as fast as thought itself. In the celestial system, Mercury is the fastest planet zooming around in sun in a mere 88 days astrologically. Mercury represents the mind, intelligence, and wit. It rules all communications, both spoken and written, and gives the power of persuasion and reason. Mercury also rule, rules technology, innovation, and, and invention. The shadow side of the Mercury's uh, sharp wit is, cun is cunning and trickery, which can be used to take advantage of those whose wit do not move at such light speeds or whose nature may be more naive and gullible. When Mercurius appears in the oracle reading, there may be a need for speed and swiftness and you may be feeling a sense of urgency. Okay, Leo, very good. Let's move on to your uh, divine abundance reading I was gonna do for you. I am going to do for you for energetic clearing during crisis the holy one herself may be empty emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan And we're gonna do a unshakable inner peace for you, Leo. Didn't wanna go back in. Illuminate distractions. Stop shining light on things you are not. How can you reclaim your power? And let's do a Star Toads Astro reading for you, Oracle reading for you. Let's pick a card. Got a couple cards. I'm gonna go for the bottom one. Here, fourth house home. Fourth house home reading. It's number 42. Fourth house home. If your chart were a village map, the fourth house would be your home base. Our early home life impacts our sense of uh, sanctuary and how we bring things to conclusion. Come home and make it a sanctuary. Create a place to renew and to live an intimate, authentic life. Home is an emotional space more than a physical address, but both matter. In the practical realm, it may be time to re- uh, renovate, reorganize, or move in the physical realm, or to negotiate boundaries with a, a roommate, create a home that feels safe and renewing at the end of the day, where you are truly off stage so you can drop your guard and refill your wells. The fourth house also speaks of the existential homesickness of a longing for the home you never had. If you had a map from childhood to create sanctuary, make one. Be ready to do the next layer of therapy and tend to some work around your family karma. Think about how you would like to have been parented rather than how you were parented and use that as a model for your self-care. In the spiritual realm, build a visual and visualize a meditation place, a, a portal sanctuary that can be your home for your spiritual practice. Explore the quite quiet depths of your meditation. Drop down to your hara, H-A-R-A, 
R A, to your center of gravity and renew your connection to the earth beneath, the sky above, and the spirit within. If you're ask, asking about a project, check that it is well situated. Make sure that the people invoked feel safe and have healthy work-life balance. On all these levels, develop a healthy approach to bringing a project to conclusion. Know when to stop. Challenge heading, let your home be a sanctuary that helps you prepare to deal with the world, not a place in which you hide from the world. Gifts heading, a, a sanctuary within your soul and a safe surroundings in which to renew allows you to regenerate find your center and greet the world afresh all right leo go do it have a good day